And we are back, right. Now everything is A-OK. -okay. And man, did that took some <laughs> hammers. Straight away, you say. And don't worry, I drop all the hammers that I had. Yeah. Well, all but one, apparently. There we go. <laughs> right, where do we need to go? Oh, we just slept like 207 hours. No big deal. Yeah, I don't think that is the way that I want to go. That might be the way. Unless there's uh, No, there is no... There is no other way. I must go this way and walk like this. Right. And they are all dead. Oh, that reminds me. Someone said that I should play uh, Deux Ex at some point. And I'm going to. Not very soon though. I want to end this, this game first. And then I play a couple of smaller games. Just because I can. And did I come to the wrong place? Wait, what? There must be something that I'm missing here. And I'm quite sure it's quite obvious. been very straight away straight away thing hmm that was weird I'm quite sure there was no door there when I first checked the thing did you die already? You die. Yeah, this is very straightforward. supposed to go past that somehow? No way. Yep, no way. There is no fucking way I can pa run past that. Is there? No, there is not.
right. How the hell are we going to do this thing? Is there a switch somewhere? There must be a switch or something somewhere. Or not? Alright, let's try this. Vermis. No, that just makes us slow. Right. <sighs> really, game? When you load the game, you cannot have any of those. Fucking hell. Cheap rising force limitation Porsche. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Come on. There we go. Really, game? Levitation does not work? How the fucking hell am I supposed to get past this then? In hell is there any clue here what the f this is the reason I fucking hate this DLC! Oh, you cannot levitate through that! You must go through this impossible quest! Impossible! Um... Trap thingy! Alright. The dome of Cassia contains a trap that requires a quick feed to evade. If you look up, you'll see a huge rotating mechanical arm with a saw in its, uh, at its end. Really? I didn't notice. As soon as you step onto a balcony from which uh, you must access to the door in uh, order to progress, you are in danger of being hit by the saw, which will kill, kill you instantly. In order to run around the door quickly enough to uh, avoid uh, the saw, you will really need to use fortify speed effects in order to increase your running speed. The elixir dropped by uh, Vermeer's uh, uh, far Fartigans for the fire speed, and you will probably have to drink several of them in order to beat the saw. Another way to get past this trap is to use Jump or Fortify Acrobatic spell. Right? Fucking hell! Wait, what is this? Venom is a propagated elixir, right. That is two. So it's the last one, that is good to know. Let's get every dose that we can from close here. 
no. I was clicking that and then tracking that there. There we go. So, five. I think I should be able to get a six one. Shouldn't I? Apparently not. Because the game is like... Oh, there we go. That was something different. That was something different. I have no idea what that last one was. We can fortify the speed and we can take all of this and put it here. Uh, do we have any other fortified speed things? Let's drink all this. And all this. That is weird, I can I could only drink one in a time. Anything that uh, has something to do with uh, speed. Hmm. Right, there we go. And I sh should have checked where the plate was before started to run. <sighs> fucking hell. I fucking hate this bullshit thing. Yeah, bullshit thing. Right, let's try this. And go. Oh. Right, made it. Made it, made it, made it, made it. Come on. Right. Right. Is this an elevator? Question How? We have two levers, and I think we cannot get up there. Yes, we only have two levers. Yeah, that is locked. Do not have anything inside. There we 
there is no enough time to do that. Really, the only thing that there is here. Yeah. All right. My brain is uh, short circuiting right now. supposed to happen? There we go. So, the right one opened the back door. And when the machine started making the noise, oh, the new enemy is coming, uh, we opened the right door. Yeah. And yes, I needed to read a walkthrough to get through that. Otherwise, we would be stuck there tomorrow and next week also. That was a lot of hits. One door. Ah, ah, ah. Only one door, apparently. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, we should save. I don't want to do that uh, puzzle again. Right. Okay. Okay, sure. The lever is rusted, you uh, do not possess the strength to do, turn this. That sounds like a challenge. There was another enemy here, wasn't there? And now it's gone. Oh, and all these are gone. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't they be? So what I gather from this is we need to uh, gather these uh, potions all over uh, every time we come across them, just in case. Hmm, for a second that looked like a door, but it's not 
It's not. Ah, sweet, sweet silence. Come here. Come here. Away from that enemy. Really? Right on, game. <laughs> do that sound mm. no it's just that kind of dog why do overdoors look the same the hell are you in something Right, not enough magic uh, charge. Oh, it died. I didn't even know that I made any progress on it. <laughs> and it died. Right, now where's that? There it is. Oh! You have found the body of Sir Seal, his lifeless hulk dangling from the co uh, contraction of his own making. Someone is obviously being here before you. Uh, we cannot move. You know there was this one dude who said Thanks allowed me to travel to this place. Here I slew Sotha Sil. Here I summoned the fabricants to attack Mournhold. I will be the savior of my people. I alone will be their salvation. None may stand in my way. Not you, and certainly not Vivek. It's a pope, a fool. I will deal with him when I have finished with you. And so the soon. He always thought himself our better, shunning us, locking himself in his hole. He spoke not a word as he died, not a voice. Even in death he mocked me with his silence. But I think you will scream. You done? Hmm. Right. But yeah, I think there was this one dude who was going to go around. Wrong weapon. Uh, saying stuff like, 
one god, one stuff, and that. Yeah, it didn't end very, very well with him. Right. Hmm. Luckily we can carry that. Hmm. Alma Alexia is dead at my hand. The goddess hope to leave me here dead and make me martyr to a new cause. No, she and Soft Seal both lie dead in the left of the clock city. Right. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Where is the maze bank? Uh, there it is. Uh, Mon Hall. Right, with this we can. Ah! Hello, I'm here. Your goddess is dead. <laughs> um, let's see. Must be going crazy, oh, right? Talking to myself. Hmm. You have done well, mortal. The death of Armalexia is a boon for all of Morrowind, though it may take time for this to be understood. She would have betrayed the Dummer as surely as she had betrayed all those whom she loved. This was her curse and her undoing. Weep not for Sothasil. He shed his mortality long ago, and I am certain his death was no small relief to him. These gods lived with the burden of a power no mortal was meant to possess. Your work in Morrowind is not finished, Nerebarim. Vivek still lives, but I believe his time grows short. Protect my people. Defend these lands. The skies of Mournhold are clear once again. Let these people suffer no longer. Now go, Mortal. Embrace your destiny and go with my voice. I have returned to Mournhold and been visited by the spirit of Adetra Azura. She has told me that the death of Almarexia was just and that is what uh, it was a she, not Sovacil, who was mad. The time uh, of the tribunal says Azura is not gone. As a sign of her love, the Dummer, she has ended the uh, ass storm in uh, Morhold and promised they will never return. And she's gone. Let's see, was this the right door? And it was not. Nor was this one. There we go. Fresh game. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> And guess what? We never hear about Mournhall and, and, and never again. Now, which way out? Which way out? Uh, not this way. Uh, 
that this was wrong though, of course. Of course it was. I just want to find the right door out. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Now then. I think this is the end of this DLC. <sighs> yes, there were some good parts, but most of it I really hate. <sighs> and after looking the walkthrough and it's saying that, hey, you should be like 30 plus levels to go here. And we are nothing. That might explain some stuff. But yeah. Uh, I said earlier that I wouldn't play the Blood Moon DLC. Actually, after sleeping overnight, yes, this has been uh, taking a multiple days for me. Uh, sleeping overnight, I think I'll be doing the DLC. But I'll be cheating a lot if it's anywhere this hard. What, about, what do I mean? Well, I think I'll be buffing my character. Yeah. I'm going to do this character what Capcom did to Leo. No, Chris in Resident Evil 6. Seriously. But other than that, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time with a new game. And I have a very good idea with what it's going to be. So, don't fear, friend. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.